Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you really think my kidneys can take that kind of punishment again? Oh, uh, Gladys, I'm gonna have to call you back. The most adorable thing just happened. Talking on the phone, a cat just passed me. Hi, I'm Bianca from the Purdue Owl. And I didn't really see a cat talking on the phone just now. Although, that would be pretty amazing. What I meant to say was that while I was on the phone, I saw a cat. My language was misleading because I accidentally used a dangling modifier. Okay, what's a dangling modifier, you ask? Well, to understand that, let's break the term into its two parts. We'll be working through the term backwards, since I think we all have a pretty good idea of what it means to dangle. As for the second part, a modifier is any word or phrase that clarifies or gives additional detail about a different word or phrase. So, for example, when I talk about a solid brick wall, the words solid and brick are both modifiers for the word wall. They describe how firm the wall is and what it's made of. Solid brick. Modifiers are great tools to make your writing more descriptive. To be effective, modifiers should be placed as close as possible to the word or phrase that they're modifying. If they aren't, say, if you put them on the wrong side of the sentence, well, then the modifiers are off, they're all alone, they are dangling in the wind, and we get dangling modifiers. Okay, remember my cat example? I said, talking on the phone, a cat passed me. In this case, the phrase talking on the phone is the modifier. I meant for it to modify what I was doing at the time, but by putting the phrase at the beginning of the sentence, it modified the cat instead. Cue the confusion. Aww. Anyway, therein lies the problem. Dangling modifiers can sometimes be amusing, but they are always confusing. So luckily, they're easy to fix. For example, now, unless you're a human-bird hybrid, this doesn't quite work. Instead, this sentence should probably go something like this. See? Much clearer, now that the modifier is closer to the bird. Now both me and the bird are separate species again, and I am out of trouble. Whew! Here's another example. In this case, why does Steven only make cake if his friends have sprinkles? Do they pay for their cake with sprinkles instead of cash? And why does Steven need all those sprinkles? <laughs> Again, dangling modifiers have a simple solution. All you need to do is rearrange the sentence so that the modifier is next to the thing it's modifying. Easy enough. In fact, the biggest challenge you may face is seeing dangling modifiers in the first place. This is why it's always a good idea to have someone else look at your writing. Having that second set of eyes helps find issues that you might have missed. And after all, whether the person giving you feedback is a family member, a friend, an instructor, or a friendly neighborhood writing lab tutor, I mean, aren't we all just dangling through this life together? I'm Bianca. Thanks for watching.